today. I wanted to talk a little bit about focus and uh, how you can change the way a picture looks just by changing where your focus point is, what your attention is on. And uh, so that's what we're going to try. So here's a, an empty lot. It's pretty boring. You can choose to focus on the empty lot. Or if you look closer, you can see all these this yellow with the dandelions, which you might not want to focus on anyway, but might be better than the empty lot. So sometimes you can uh, look at details and uh, redefine the space by those details. I'm uh, going to show you an example of where, uh, how you change your focus or what you're paying attention to uh, can change the outcome of your image. So take a look here. Here you see sort of a unkept block. In the middle here you have this overgrown space. But let's look a little bit closer. So here we're coming in a little bit closer. You'll notice the flowers here. Somebody took the time to plant them. Um, pretty good looking flowers too. All in full bloom here in the spring, these tulips. So, you know, you can decide what you see. Decide what you want to pay attention to. And uh, that can really make a difference on um, expressing how you view the world or view a scene or what you want to say about a scene. Um, you know, I can talk about this empty lot or I can talk about the flowers in the empty lot using these photographs. And uh, for my part, at least for right now, you know, I want to talk about the flowers. I'm still taking pictures, absolutely. Good. Yeah. That's so that's just uh, one example how you can use focus demonstrate what you want to communicate. So, um, you know, the way you see the world uh, is going to influence the kind of pictures that you take or don't take. So here's another example. You have a chain link fence right near this lilac bush. So I prefer taking pictures of lilac bushes. Sometimes I prefer to take pictures of chain link fences. If I move in even closer than that, you can't tell that there's a chain link fence nearby. You know, you shouldn't trespass, but... Even closer. So... So, you know... You can bias your photos that way. You can uh, decide you want, you want people to understand about an environment uh, just by what you choose to show or you choose not to show. And uh, it's a neat little trick. People think that photography is about truth telling. Sometimes it is and sometimes it's about telling things that aren't there. Talking about what's invisible only see with the camera what you put in the frame and what you leave out of the frame. Critical decision. So 
there's that sort of abstract idea of where you put your focus and what you put your attention on, but there's also a sort of a technical side. So what's in focus in your image and what isn't in focus? So I'm going to take uh, two images here of this tree behind me and uh, demonstrate uh, how you can change the look of your image by deciding how much of an image is in focus. So let's try that out. So this first image is at uh, f2 and 64 hundredths of a second. And then this next image, I'm going to uh, change the settings so there's uh, it's at f16 and I'm going to keep my ISO at 200 but I'm going to change my shutter speed so that it's 100. Now watch how much more of these flowers are in focus at f16. So that's sort of the technical side of um, deciding what's in focus. And you can use that uh, you know, to communicate uh, what your image is going to say as well. You know, in the one image where I have a very wide open aperture, uh, the flowers are isolated a little bit more. And in the second image where the um, F stop is at 16 and you have a real small opening you end up with uh, seeing more of the flower so you can either isolate your subject or um, make it more of the environment using that strategy of focusing and deciding how much is in focus See that bumblebee? That's what I'm going for. I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. I see it. It's a little tricky. I think I got out of one of those images. Right here. F2, and then I'll do another one where I'm F16. You'll see the difference. So my composition hasn't changed, just the focus. So again, whether you're thinking in a more abstract sense about what you're focusing on in terms of what's in your frame, or on the more technical end, what you're, uh, what's in focus within your frame, um, you can work on practicing and seeing how you can take images from the same vantage point, but uh, uh, have them look differently or communicate something differently. So give it a try and let me know how, how, how it goes. Thanks.